Hello, all you rats. Um, if you didn't know, last night, Boss Man Jack had a big night. He won a little over $60,000 last night. Um, and I know already people are probably saying, oh, that's not real money. It's fake money. No, it's incorrect. I don't know why people say that, but this is real money. And we know it's real money. Because we can go audit the Litecoin address, right? We can just see the wallet and the money in there. There was $60,000 that did go in there. Um, so uh, you can't put fake money on a blockchain. That's not how it works. It's all real money. Um, so the question is, um, well, what happens now? And we can probably look to the previous times where Boss Man Jack has won big to kind of see a, a pattern of behavior and what's going to happen. So the first thing that boss man Jack usually does after a really big win is he does a lot of what I like to call basking. So there'll be a lot of just staring at a balance, you know, talking. He's going to be just, you know, the, here comes the light coin into the Exodus wallet. We're going to just stare at that balance. And that's already happened. There's a lot of just, just looking and talking and just sort of no gambling, right? There's not actually gambling happening. There's just, he's just soaking it in, enjoying it, the glory, looking at the balance and basking. Okay. So secondly, uh, what he does is he calls up his dealer and he buys all the drugs. Um, and I think the last time this happened, he was completely wired and he did not go to sleep for three days straight, at least. And the only reason that he finally did go to sleep was because he ran out of money and he ran out of drugs. Um, he also is going to be doing a lot of giveaways, which he, ha which, he, which he already has. He's probably given away about six or seven thousand uh, dollars today that I saw alone. That's real money that can also be audited. And um, speaking of the giveaways, we'll get back to that later because that's going to come into play later. Um, so after his big win, he kind of goes into this mode where he's not really gambling as much. What he likes to do is kind of like dart in and out, get like a quick win, cup one big coin flip. If he wins, he wants to leave. And that's all fine, and then it'll just kind of sustain him. But um, what gets him into trouble is when he tries to just go in and out, and he loses, and then he might chase it. Um, but from here on out, he'll probably be up for days because when he starts to redeposit into uh, the site, um, the deposits are going to get smaller and smaller depending on how far down he is. Um, so he's going to slowly begin to lose deposit. Um, and that's actually what we're already seeing. You can see here. Uh, this is just from the transactions uh, just on this first page of most recent activity. He is depoting in about 2,000 at a time. I expect that to go down to maybe 1,000 at a time. It's already, okay, he's already depositing less here. Um, and if you click on these transactions, right, we can just go ahead and look at any of them. And it's a 3GR, this th ending in 3GR address is his BC game Litecoin wallet. So we can just audit any of this stuff really easily. Um, so he has currently moved to uh, gambling. This is all being done offline. So all these deposits pretty much on this entire page are all offline. So he's now moved to the phase where um, he's lost already what, $30,000 of the 60K that he withdrew. So he doesn't want people to see this. He doesn't want it, and he wants to maybe get a little crazy, and he knows that he's going to probably make some really big, crazy moves. And so um, he doesn't want to be online. So he's currently gambling offline right now. Um, and then eventually, of course, he's going to lose it all. That's what's going to happen. He's going to lose it all. Um, and in the end, he might have, you know, a pair of shoes to show for it, something like that. 
Um, but at that point, to go back to the giveaways, um, he's going to start thinking about all the money that he gave away, the six, seven thousand dollars, and sometimes he even, you know, almost calls people out that hey, he gave away all his money, now he's got nothing. He's going to get mad that he gave away. He's going to regret giving away all that money because when he was giving away all that money, he was getting really lucky, and he. See, it almost to the point where he thinks that he can just print it at will, which is not the case. We know that. He was just getting lucky. Um, and so he's actually going to be resentful to the people that won these giveaways. And in a lot of cases, from what I've seen, he actually in a lot, is sometimes hopeful that they'll give the money back. Um, so here it is. Uh, Bossman has withdrawn 58000 um, that's a, that's a lot of Litecoin. I mean, congratulations to Boss Man. You know, I hope he doesn't lose it all. I hope he just puts some of it away. Ideally, he would give it to someone where he doesn't have access to it. Uh, maybe his mom or something like that. But it's doubtful that he will. So uh, there's there's going to be a lot of interesting things that happen from here on out. It'll be interesting to see what happens and if it plays out like I'm like I said. So um, that's it for now, rats. I wanted to get something up because the money is rapidly leaving his exodus. So uh, we'll keep an eye on it, and um, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs>